Uh, one embarrassing thing that happened when I got there, though, is that the call time was at 1 p.m. So I got there at 12.30 because I'm trying to be professional, trying to show you know what I know what I'm doing. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, the call time was 1 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, no. And we're in Edmonton. If everyone that's watching right now recognizes the man at the bottom here, JT Producer, a.k.a. Giordano, uh, he was on Monday Night Raw and on SmackDown these past couple of weeks on WWE uh, TV. Um, can you tell us the experience you had on Monday Night Raw fighting Omos? Well, first of all, that wasn't actually me. That was uh, a very compelling lookalike named Joey Gibson. <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, I've been being honest. It's probably the most surreal week of my life because I've done extra work before. Uh, along with Matt, we both went to NXT back in January 2020. Okay, wow. And um, we actually didn't end up doing anything. We kind of just got there, and they kind of just paid us to sit there and watch everything. But still, it's an experience. You know, you get to kind of sit there and of course. take everything in. So for this, um, when I sent the email, and I got a response right away. Now, first of all, I was only booked for SmackDown originally in okay. Winnipeg. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll see you in Winnipeg. And then Saturday night, yeah, Saturday, like, I got a message from uh, the leader of the uh, extras there, which is uh, Kenny Dykstra. Okay. He asked if I could be there for Raw, also in Edmonton. Now, I'm thinking that the Raw is after SmackDown. For example, so the SmackDown was on the 30th, and Raw, so Raw would be the October 3rd. Okay. So I'm thinking, like, yeah, yeah, no worries. I can be there, no problem. After uh, I replied to the email, I was checking out the dates. And I saw that the Raw was actually prior to the SmackDown, a.k.a. two days from when I got that email. So I was like, oh, shit. Okay, well, better rearrange my entire life and make it to Edmonton, which I did, and clearly it worked out. Uh, one embarrassing thing that happened when I got there, though, is that the call time was at 1 p.m. So I got there at 12.30 because I'm trying to be professional, trying to show you know what I know what I'm doing. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, the call time was 1 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, no. And we're in Edmonton, <laughs> which operates on Mountain Time, a.k.a. the call time was 11. But it turned out to be okay because when they run TV, everyone's in such a kind of a hassle that the extras weren't even looked at yet. So it was all okay. fine. Okay. So I went in. We filled out our W8s and all that stuff that they needed us to do. And when we got to the uh, medical, because they, you know, they had to clear it, even though we do do a full physical and got to require blood work to do this extra gig, when we got there, uh, they still require the doctor they have to clear you for anything, you know, because something that day could be wrong. Okay. For example, one guy that uh, was there with us didn't get cleared for any physicality because his blood pressure was too high. Oh, wow. Because they take it really seriously for insurance. So they're, they're, they're that strict about it. Okay. Oh, that, yeah. You know what? At least they're looking out for you in the end, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. it's, it's uh, they're the pros that comes to this stuff, right? Yeah. 